Hi, my name is Annalisa Nielsen, and I'm the project director for the NSF-funded project Longitudinal Learning of Viable Argument in Mathematics for Adolescents, also known as LAMA. LAMA brings together researchers from the University of Idaho and the RMC Research Corporation to improve grade 8 mathematics achievement. The project is led by Dr. David Yop, UI Principal Investigator, Dr. Ann Adams, UI Co-Principal Investigator, Dr. Rob Ely, UI Co-Principal Investigator, Ms. Chandra Lewis, RMC Co-Principal Investigator, and Dr. Shin Wang, RMC Co-Principal Investigator. In this presentation, I offer an overview of the project and why viable argumentation is important to grade 8 mathematics success. You will see an overview of the teacher commitment needed for participation in LAMA. I will outline the professional development that is provided for teachers and describe the support teachers will receive from LAMA researchers and staff. Finally, I offer an overview of the application process. So what is LAMA? LAMA is a project that supports teachers in including viable argumentation in grade 8 mathematics classrooms. LAMA provides teachers with training, materials, and ongoing support from the University of Idaho math education faculty. The goal of LAMA is to improve student achievement by supporting teachers in classroom instruction that involves viable argument. Through the LAMA materials, resources, and ongoing support, teachers are able to engage students in viable argument construction and rich mathematical reasoning. Students who learn with and through viable argumentation develop deeper understanding of the math content and improve on their state assessment scores. LAMA is also a research project. The LAMA research team will work with LAMA teachers in professional development settings. LAMA researchers will work with teachers to collect assessment data that further demonstrates the efficacy of LAMA as an instructional intervention. So what is viable argument? And why is creating viable arguments so important for learning? A viable argument is a sound and valid argument that demonstrates why a claim is true or not true. On a really broad scope, demonstrating the truth is a skill that imply, applies to all areas of life. In decision making and interacting with groups of people, it is important for members of society to be able to make an argument, justify it, or make sense of someone else's argument. In mathematics, when a student makes a viable argument, they are showing that the truth of the claim depends on reasoning, not on the authority of the teacher. This is important for learning mathematics because when you make a viable argument, you are demonstrating why a fact is true. This shows a much deeper understanding than just knowing that a fact is true, but not seeing why. Looking just at mathematics classrooms, viable argumentation is critical to learning the content and practices described in the Common Core mathematics standards. Researchers have found that when students justify their thinking, they demonstrate more complex mathematical thinking, have greater achievement, engage deeply with math ideas, develop their ability to communicate, and a surprising result that was not expected was it also impacts their perseverance. Students who are in the habit of justifying their thinking have greater perseverance when it comes to challenging problems. They become more independent math thinkers, and they develop the expectation that ideas need to be supported, which is key to success in mathematics. As we zoom even further, we discover that viable argumentation is important because the Common Core state standards call for viable argumentation at all grade levels, and the Smarter Balanced Assessments assess proficiency with this practice. Common Core Math Practice Standard 3 states that all students will construct viable arguments and critique the reasoning of others. Common Core marks a shift in where argumentation is found in math classrooms. Previously, Viable arguments tended to occur only in high school geometry. Historically, students were only asked to develop proofs and learn to reason logically in geometry courses. This narrow use of viable argumentation has changed and may already be changing in your classroom. Now, the Common Core is saying that viable argumentation is such an important part of the mathematics learning that we need to have it throughout the curriculum at all grade levels. Also, viable argumentation is a practice that students need to develop in all math content areas. This shift, the idea that viable argumentation needs to be included throughout all math classes, motivated the LAMA project. LAMA started out as a pilot program, which is called Learning Algebra and Methods of Proving, otherwise referred to as LAMP. The goal of LAMP was to produce evidence-based curriculum materials for improving student learning and reasoning, 
proving and argumentation in grade 8 classrooms. In the pilot program LAMP, Dr. David Yop and other researchers found that students who received the viable argumentation intervention outperformed comparison students on argument and reasoning assessments and attained higher levels of achievement on the smarter balanced assessments than comparison students who did not receive the intervention. LAMP students also scored higher on the smarter balanced assessments, communicating reasoning items, and than comparison students. This bar chart shows the achievement scores for one grade 8 LAMP class in comparison to the rest of the state scores and the other grade levels at that school and across the state. These very promising outcomes from the pilot study motivated the LAMA project. LAMA builds on the lessons and the research developed in LAMP and disseminates that work to a larger audience of schools, teachers, and students. The remainder of this video presents information teachers and school leaders need to know in order to participate in LAMA. This includes timelines and application procedures. The teachers who apply and are selected for LAMA will be randomly assigned to cohorts. There are two cohorts. Cohort 1 starts professional development this November and will be involved in the project for three years. Cohort 2 is a delayed treatment group. The teachers in this group start in two years, receiving support in the years 2018 and 2019. Cohort 2 will submit data from their students in the years 2016 and 2017 so that the project will have comparison data for changes in student achievement. Throughout the project, LAMA teachers will attend professional development sessions, submit student assessment data, student work, and daily reflections on the role of argumentation in their teaching. A few teachers in each cohort will be asked to participate in classroom observations. During the years when a teacher's cohort is considered the treatment cohort, the teacher will receive 10 coaching sessions, which can be online or in person. During these coaching sessions, teachers receive support in planning and developing lessons that include argumentation, support in developing pacing calendars, and support adapting existing LAMA materials to fit into individual curriculums and pacing calendars. Teachers in Cohort 1 receive online professional development throughout videos and online discussions and coaching, either online or person, immediately after they join the project. These efforts are so they can become familiar with LAMA and its materials and begin trying out the LAMA intervention and reflecting on its role in their classrooms. After the 2016-2017 school year, these teachers attend a two-week summer professional development session during the summer of 2017. This professional development will likely occur in July, although LAMA staff will pull LAMA teachers for available dates and then choose the date that works best for all. During this summer professional development experience, teachers will solidify their knowledge of teaching and learning with and through viable argumentation, and they will develop strong plans for implementing the LAMA intervention in the coming year. During the 2017-2018 school year, Cohort 1 teachers will receive additional support from the University of Idaho through academic year follow-up, professional development, and coaching sessions. Cohort 2 will receive the same professional development as Cohort 1 starting in 2019. While the professional development efforts shift from Cohort 1 to Cohort 2 in years 3 and 4 of the project, Cohort 1 teachers continue to provide data during the 2018-2019 school year, year 3 of the project, so that we can assess the sustainability of the LAMA intervention. We realize that LAMA requires a serious commitment from its teachers and districts, and we have detailed plans for giving our teachers professional and financial support. Making our project convenient for teachers is our priority. Lessons and materials that align with the Common Core State Standards are already available, and teachers will receive support in adapting them if needed. The on-site visits from LAMA researchers offer teachers support for teaching in terms of developing and implementing lessons. Our team will write lesson plans for you if you desire. They will even team teach, develop calendars, and answer any questions you may have. LAMA staff is here to support you in this project and is willing to help in any way they can. LAMA teachers will earn three graduate level professional development credits for their efforts and receive stipends ranging from $4,400 to $5,100, depending on the amount of data we request. Let's get started. Application will be reviewed as they're submitted. Application forms are attached in the email to you and are also available on our website. Please return the forms as soon as possible. We hope to begin our professional development on November 1st. We hope you'll join our team of educators.